we are going to solve magnetic field at a point on the axis of a circular current loop due to circular current loop using a bias power law we know from bias power law the magnetic field the magnetic field db for a small element dl equals to mu not by 4 pi i dl cross r unit vector by r square so in our case the current we have to find out the magnetic field at a point on the axis let the p be the point and this is the current loop and current is uh, circulating anti clockwise let there is a small element dl this is dl and the point is at x distance and the distance between p and dl equals to r the radius equals to a a is the radius we can see from the figure that dl and r has a angle 90 degree this angle is 90 degree because this is uh, this is the axis so uh, this loop is perpendicular to this axis so r also perpendicular to the ring or loop so just um, this convert to dl i sin 90 there is mu no mu not by 4 pi i dl r k 1 sin 90 by r square that is mu not by 4 pi i i dl by r square so this is the um, magnetic field and the direction should be This is the value, and direction should of magnetic field should be perpendicular both R and this DL because this is the DL cross R. So the magnetic field direction should be perpendicular both DL and R. So this is like this means like this perpendicular to both DL cross R like this. So this is the direction of DB. Let this is theta. Then, for similar oppo DL in opposite side, there will be another DB, and this should be also theta. So, if we take for all over the loop, the component of DB cos theta, there should be a DB cos theta for opposite uh, loop or uh, for the oppo opposite DL. db cos theta this is theta so db cos theta integration db cos theta should be zero for all over the loop and the resultant magnetic field gives integration of db sin theta along the direction so this gives also along the direction there will be db this gives the direction along the axis and if we May take the loop uh, front side of the board. Then the direction should be back side to the uh, axis. And if we take the loop as a back side, then DB should also um, with angle and to to on or the board. So. cos theta term cancel is there but but db sin theta term this is 90 minus theta so this gives db sin theta so db sin theta gives the magnetic field along axis and if we take the integration limit that is in terms of dl this is dl so total l equals to 2 pi a total l equals to perimeter that is 2 pi a So just integrate this 
put in the hello mu naught by 4 pi i dl sin theta by r square so again sin theta equals to the if this is the this gives theta this also gives theta because this total value equals to 90 degree and this total value also gives 90 degree and this is the perpendicular this also gives 90 degree um, say again this this is the perpendicular so this suppose this angle equals to alpha and this angle equals to beta and this angle equals to gamma so if gamma equals to 9 uh, theta then gamma equals to theta and alpha plus beta equals to 90 degree again the direction of dv is perpendicular to r also because both perpendicular of both r and dl so this gives uh, gamma plus beta also 90 degree so alpha equals to gamma this implies if alpha equals to we have taken gamma as a theta so alpha also theta so this angle is also theta so sin theta equals to sin theta equals to height by a by x sorry a by r height by hypotenuse r so just put in here integration of 4 pi i dl a by r there will be r square so r cube so take just limit degree sorry so take just from here b equals to mu naught is constant 4 pi i a by r cube integration of dl limit should be 0 to 2 pi a the perimeter of the loop or ring that is mu naught i a to 2 pi a by 4 pi r cube so pi can be cancelled out 2 2 so this is mu naught i a square by 2 r cube that is mu naught i a square by 2 root over sorry 2 x square plus r square root over 3 by 2 and clearly we I can write b so b equals to mu naught i a square by 2 x square plus a square x square plus a square whole to the power 3 by 2 because r equals to root over x square plus a square and direction gives along the along axis so if the current direction is reverse then direction will be opposite so this is the magnetic field due to a current carrying loop